It's not the first time we've heard about the economic impact of sporting events leaving North Carolina. However, many fear if sports leave, there will be a trickle-down effect to other events which draw in crowds. WNCT's Zora Stevenson has followed this law from the very beginning. She talks with tourism directors to see if the money threat is real. Zora. A number of communities in our area report losses. They say organizations and event planners don't want to use facilities in North Carolina because of HB2. If the NCAA decides to pull major events out of North Carolina, leaders here in the East fear others could follow suit. In a small community, it means a great deal to lose anything. Small town America. It's the heart and soul of Eastern North Carolina. Small metropolitan areas that want a piece of the big stage. And this law, HB2, gets in the way of things. HB2 has become a cloud. In the last year, a number of events were pulled from our area. In Greenville, it was NCAA golf, ultimate frisbee and rugby tournaments. Kinston lost a college world series. Oh, it really is not a matter of whether you're for HB2 or not for HB2. The, the reality is HB2 has become a cloud and we need to find a a compromise. On Tuesday, the NCA gave North Carolina 48 hours to repeal HB2. Sources say if it doesn't, the state will lose all tournament and championship bids. There's certainly a lot of people look to the NCA to see what they're going to do and then they follow suit. Andrew Schmidt is tasked with bringing events to Greenville. Over the phone, he told us the NCAA's decision could affect not just other sporting events, but a host of categories. You're, you're starting a trend that's a negative trend, <laughs> and that's not something you want to do as a destination. You want to be perceived as a place that's welcoming and demanding. Demand for room set records in 2016. Keith Kidwell shares why, despite everything, he still stands with the law. So what they're saying is expose your women and children to risk or we're not going to do business with you. Do we want to do business with those people? I don't. We also talked to tourism officials in Washington. That city hasn't felt much of an impact. People there say most of the events are local. Zora Stevenson, not on your side. Zora, thank you. The NCAA told our sister station in Raleigh the organization is set to make a decision by noon tomorrow about where it will host tournament sites through 2022.